up everybody, Hungry Hussy here. Today, here we are. Here's my new setup. Uh, don't have stuff quite like it should, but um, you know, it's getting there. It's every day uh, <laughs> we're getting stuff out of a box. So I kind of put stuff around here. Um, I got this pad, it, you know, it kind of goes uh, this way. So it's kind of leaning. I need to space my black stone up a little bit, but hey, all good. We're going to throw something on this thing and it ain't even going to matter. All right. So, hey, I appreciate everybody hanging in there with me uh, while this move. Um, again, this is the new setup. I'll do another video once I get a little bit more acquainted, more situated, and I'll do a full video on, on the whole setup. So, but for right now, you can kind of see everything. It's kind of cool out here today uh, in North Carolina, but uh, it's a good day to be out here good day to be alive so a little long-winded sorry about that but hey today I got something special for you I got a chicken Caesar pasta salad and we're gonna do the chicken on the Blackstone griddle uh, I came to this recipe uh, it's kind of like copycat for it's a restaurant called Cheddar's um, out of Mansfield Ohio it's where the first time I ever went to a Cheddar's realized later on that they actually have one in Winston-Salem However, the one in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, has closed down, unfortunately. They had this, had this salad. My wife, Mackenzie, she loves this salad. She would get it every time, every time. And I thought, what's so special about this thing? Well, it's pretty special. It's pretty good. And I got it one time, and I enjoyed it. And we make it uh, every so often here at the house. So it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, hey, without further ado, hey, let's get to the ingredients, all right? All right, our ingredients are, we got some romaine lettuce right here. We got some penne noodles right here. Uh, just, just cooked them in some, just some salt water, nothing crazy. Um, I got a little bit of red onions back here. I got some, just some, this is just some uh, French bread that I'm gonna toast off on the Blackstone. Um, I got some bacon that I've, I cooked some bacon today and I saved it, so I'm not gonna cook any today on the Blackstone. I got a little Parmesan cheese that I'll just shave off into that, into the salad. And I got some marinated uh, chicken breast. And so how I marinated that chicken breast is I took, I got three, three chicken breasts, okay? And I pounded those breasts out a little bit. They're a little thick. I pounded them so they're a little thinner, okay? Just a little bit, pound them in this bag. And then I took some uh, zesty Italian dressing, okay? I took a little bit of this Newton's, it's Newton's seasoning that uh, a, a viewer sent me. I really like it, really good on chicken. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's got marjoram, it's got uh, garlic powder, onion powder, that kind of thing. And then I also put a little bit of chicken powder in there. And that just helps round it off. It's got a little bit of sodium in it and also gives a nice chicken flavor, all right? And then for dressing, I'm not gonna make my, my Caesar dressing because I really like this Ken's table side Caesar dressing. Uh, if I, they also make a creamy that's really good, but if I want a creamy, I'll take this and I'll put a little bit of mayonnaise in it, and it's pretty it's pretty phenomenal. And then this is just a garlic clove. I'm gonna toast this bread off, and after it's toasted, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scratch it, scratch the scratch the edge of it right there. It's gonna get hard, and I'm just gonna scratch it with this garlic clove, give it a garlicky flavor. All right, so that's it, y'all. We're gonna put it on our blackstone griddle. First cook on the new setup out here. There's the eggs, gotta get them. The black stone, little red unit, a little bit of the backyard. I gotta do some work right, right in there. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's just to put some mulch out and then uh, a little bit of storage over there. And that's the basement over there. It's my office in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, y'all, let's get to it. All right, hey, welcome back. Hey, let's get this chicken on the cook and let's get this chicken Caesar pasta salad in my belly. So, I don't know what I've done with my, my pinky flipper, my pinky tail flipper, but oh well. We're just gonna put this chicken down. Put it down just like that. All right. We 
got our Blackstone probably running about 375 or so. I got the dials you know, kind of on low, medium low. Like I said, around 400 degrees, we want to get a nice crust on there. I even got my press on it to get a good contact patch, okay? Hey, could you drop me a, a, could you drop me a fork and a pair of tongs down? Oh, you can't. Uh, right here at the, at, the, at the porch, from the garage to the, yeah. Forks and tongs, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh <laughs> okay. Tongs? Tongs. Yeah. Is that all you need? I think so. Okay. I need something to eat with, something to turn it with. I ain't, I ain't got it. Yep. All right, so it's been about a minute or so. These chicken breasts, I want to check on them. See how nice and flat? I like to pound that chicken just to make it all one, kind of one size. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna do it just like that. All right, I think we need to, we can do a little leg work here. We can assemble a little bit of our uh, pasta salad, okay? All righty, I'm gonna take, get our lettuce bowl. Put our lettuce bowl right there. And then we got our pasta bowl. Pasta bowl, we can put it right there. And Said we got a little bit of this bacon right there. Just gonna chop up a little bit of this bacon. Just coarse chop, it's fine. Okay, put that right here. Need our red onions. There we go. There we go. Now. Now we're cooking with gas. So what we do is uh, you just want a good ratio of pasta to lettuce. Uh, your ratio, you know, might be different than mine. And then we just kind of toss this around. All right. Looks like a pretty good ratio, just a little bit more. More noodles. There we go. Oh, come back here. Come back here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this bacon in right now. Get that flavor. That flavor flave. And then we're gonna do some of our red onions. My wife, she don't like the red onions, actually. Uh, she don't like the red onions, but she likes the flavor that red onions will give. So, um, I like the red onions. There we go. Need a bigger bowl, but whatever. Once we put the dressing on, it'll be all right. Now, I'll wait just a little while to dress the salad. Okay, but for right now, I mean, that's beautiful. She's a beautiful. Shake this up here. Shit. Get our garlic ready for our um, for our toast. Just want to cut it in half. It kind of releases some of that aromatics. All right, chicken. Now let's see where we're at with this chicken. Where are we at? 120 degrees. Oh, that's a little thicker. It's actually 130 degrees there, 140. So they're about ready. Not much longer. Not much longer on that chicken. All right, let's, that, that press, that press helps. Also, it helps um, get the chicken done a little faster. So another two minutes. We're gonna flip it, all right? Let's catch back. All right, hey, it's been about two minutes. Let's uh, check on our chicken again. Got a nice crust on it. Hey, a little bit too much of a crust, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Let's see where we're at. 160 right there. 
chicken. That piece right there is done. This piece is done. Well, there we go. Just gonna cut the burners off. We are good to go. We are good to go. All right. All right. All right. Let's get this chicken off. Okay. I'll we'll put it right over here. Put it right there. Put it right there. All righty. Y'all, about forgot. About forgot my my toast. Gotta get our toast down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil down. And I honestly thought about this a little bit more. I'm gonna take this olive oil, I'm gonna put my garlic in it, just like that. I'm gonna flavor that oil up. That's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna flavor it up. I'm gonna flavor it up with my, this garlic. And then I'm gonna toast them off. In that oil. I smell it. I smell it. All right, put you right there. All right, let's get back to our salad, okay? Uh, I'll take a little bit of this dressing. Just want to kind of pour it around. And then just take your tongs, just kind of work it around. Oh, onion down, onion down. All right, we did good there. Let's see what our bread looks like. Bread, how y'all doing? How y'all doing over here? This is what we want to do. I'm going to take a little bit of our, oh, not a little bit, want a generous amount of our salad. I'm going to take our chicken breast. I just want to take, make cuts. Might have company, you never know. Okay? You gonna come here like this? I'm gonna lay it over that. Lay it over that salad just like that. Alright. Then you wanna come in with your Parmesan cheese. You just wanna do a few shaved pieces of Parmesan. Just like that. And then what I like to do is come back, a little bit of this dressing. It just kind of, it, that chicken's warm, that chicken's warm and it helps it. There you go, hey, chicken Caesar pasta salad. It looks pretty dang good, don't it? All right, so let's give this sucker a try. Um, I forgot about my toast. It's right there. It's really good. I taste a little bit of the garlic. So let's take a little bit of bite of our chicken Caesar sauce. Chicken Caesar pasta salad. I got a little bit of red onion. I got a little bit of, of the lettuce. And I got chicken. I got the pasta. Mm. Oh man. I get that nice dressing. That Ken's Table side Caesar is really good. It's Parmigiani. It's robust. Um, it's really good. I get the crunch from the uh, red onion and the flavor of that chicken. I got that crust on it. Mm. It's really good. Um, this, this, just the, the, the chicken itself has good flavor. It's tender. A little cheer wine. I like using that zesty Italian dressing if I'm in a pinch. Um, I like using that zesty Italian for, it's just easy. It's got a lot of good, good stuff in it. It's got some peppers, it's got garlic, that kind of thing. Got your oil, got your vinegar. And then I add a little bit more to it just to kind of bring it up a little bit, bring the, bring the flavors up because sometimes it's kind of meh. So that's why I did uh, the marinade the way I did and it pays off, okay? Hey. Give this a try. Your family will love it, I'm sure. And uh, if not, uh, tell them it's Hunger Hussy's fault. Okay? Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate uh, the love and support I've got, uh, especially during the move. Uh, I hope you like this uh, video here. I'm probably a little bit like a fish out of water. 
you know, new, this is my first video ever here. So I'm still trying to figure things out, where my cameras need to be, that kind of thing. So I do apologize, but at least I'm giving you a video, right? Right. Okay. Hey, I love y'all. I appreciate you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. There you go. Good girl. All right. Bye, y'all.